What's up everyone and welcome to a new series where we are going to basically copy um, the very popular Twitch Plays Pokemon um, stream that they had up a while ago. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to write a bot using Python that's going to read the inputs in the Twitch chat and then it's going to pass it along to the Pokemon game. And so I'm going to walk us through all of the various steps through authentication through Twitch, all the controls passed through the Game Boy emulator, um, connecting to the channel, reading messages, sending messages, um, a little bit of threading because we need to both um, pass the controls through and read the messages at the same time. So we're going to be covering all of that. And I'm even going to show how we can port this to pretty much any game we want. So without further ado, let's just show off that it works. I'm going to show what kind of the end, the end goal is. So I've got my laptop right here and I'm going to just type in inputs and show you how it works. So I can just do like up. Whoops. I'm going to do down, he moves one unit down, I can do up, I can do left, I can do all of the inputs, I've coded all of that in. And so basically that's what we're going to be working on, is we're going to be taking the Twitch input um, text box and we're going to be converting it to inputs on the Game Boy emulator. And so that's pretty much it, let's just jump right into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to get want to get an OAuth password from Twitch because the way their API works, you're not allowed to just use your normal username and password, so you have to get an OAuth key. So you're going to have to go to this link. It'll be in the description. It's at twitchapps.com slash TMI. And so basically, you're just going to want to log in to Twitch, go to this link, and then say connect with Twitch. And then it's going to give you this OAuth key and just store that for later. That's that's what we're going to use to log in. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start a new file. I named mine first Twitch tutorial. You can name yours, whatever. And we're going to import sockets. Sockets is what we're going to use in order to do this sort of internet communication. So it's how we're going to reach the Twitch servers. And so the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to define what we're connecting to. And we're going to name that server. And then we have to tell which port we're going to connect to. And the one for Twitch is 6667. And then we are going to do the password. And here's where you're going to enter your whoops your OAuth key and so you just throw that in there you wanna you wanna keep it private obviously don't share it with anyone because it's direct access to your account basically if if someone finds this then they can um, post whatever comments and all of that stuff in um, text channel so keep it private I'm gonna change this one after and then after that, we're going to have to give a name to our bot. I'm just going to call mine Twitch bot. And then we're also going to have to pick the channel that we want to connect to. So this is the, um, the actual Twitch channel you want to connect to. And you have to make sure it's in all lowercase letters. So if you wanted to connect to PewDiePie or Linus Tech Tips or whoever, you have to find out what their ending um, tag is called. And then you will put that in there. And then what I'm going to do here is owner. And basically what I'm doing here is I'm defining who the bot is or who it's owned by. So this is just kind of to put in there as a check to make sure I can do some sort of um, blocking. 
so that it doesn't reply back to itself and just end up in a loop or something like that. So basically it's going to be if a comment comes from here, don't reply to it. That's basically what I'm doing there. And the first actual thing we're going to do with all of these settings is we're going to define a variable IRC and we're going to do socket dot socket um, and call it so that we can connect up to the internet. And so what we need to do next is we do IRC dot connect and then we pass in our variables with all of the information that we just defined. So we have to tell it which server we want to go to, which is the Twitch one. And then we also have to give it the port that we want to connect to, which is 6667. And then after that, we are going to send some information so that we can connect up to the server because obviously it needs our credentials. And so you have to do this in a pretty specific way. So make sure that you have matching um, formatting like I do. I don't know why this is complaining. Let me look at that for a second. That needs a plus sign, it looks like. That shouldn't be having issues. I'm not, I'm gonna have to take a second and figure that out. All right, I figured it out. It was just uh, errant quotation marks somewhere. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to put, put in just a string that says pass space, and then we're going to plug in our password, which is our OAuth key, and then we're going to put the next bit of information on a new line. And so then we're going to do the nick, which is the nickname for the bot, and then we're going to pass in the bot and we're going to do a new line. And then after that, we're going to say join space pound symbol. And then the channel that we want to connect to. And then again, we're going to do a new line. And so that should send all the correct information. And so I'm going to show you guys what it does now. And so what happens now is it sends all that information. It's the correct information. But what Twitch is expecting, if we look down at this error down here, it says a bytes like object is required, not string. So we, what we have to do is we have to convert this into a bytes like object. And how do we do that? We just type in encode and then it's going to convert it hang on have to put that inside and what that's going to do is it's going to convert it from a string into bytes so it's something that the twitch api can use so now i hit control b and it finished successfully with no errors and so that's pretty interesting but it's really not doing anything yet. So I'm going to define a function called join chat and now we're going to actually join the chat. Cuz that was just connecting to a server. It wasn't really doing anything yet. And so we're going to just define loading as true and we'll see why we do that in a second and then we enter into a while loop which is basically saying while loading equals true continue to run this code and we're going to do a read buffer for when we're joining 
and then we're gonna use that socket we opened up and we're gonna do this IRC dot receive and then 1024 and basically what this is doing is it's receiving 1024 bits or bytes at a time I forgot which it w which it is and it's going to save that in our read buffer join and so I will I'm gonna print this out just so I can show you guys what it's what it's popping out when we're connecting to this thing and then I need to call the join chat function and so if you look at that it's just putting in a bunch of random strings hopefully I can get back up to the top says invalid nick hang on i'll have to figure that out all right i figured it out you're not allowed to have a space in there it looks like and so i'm gonna take that away and then we can see it pops out all of this text and it's basically saying some of the information of what we're logging into and all of that stuff and so we're going to use that basically to determine when we've successfully loaded into the um, the channel and we can be ready to actually run commands and read the messages <coughs> and so what I'm going to do here is what this is coming out as is bytes and so that's the B we see in front of everything and so I'm gonna decode it which is the opposite of what we did before here which was encoding and I'm going to turn it into a proper string that is more usable for us and so now if you look at this it doesn't have the B in the front and all of the formatting is correct it's all new lines and we can read it more easily and so that's what the decode does after that we are going to do a for loop and basically if you look at what this is doing is right now we have all of these different lines and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split each line so I'm splitting on each line using this and then I'm going to iterate through them so it's going to look at each line individually so we can look at who was sending that message um, what the message content was looking at each one individually and that's going to be much more useful for us and so now I'm going to keep showing you guys as I'm going through what each of the outputs is so I'm going to print the line and you can see it's very similar to what we were doing before but what you can't really see is that now they're all separate objects each print was separate so we have lots of things to work with and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna define a new function that is going to exit us from the loading loop because right now it's just gonna keep running that indefinitely and we can't exit that or do anything else really so what I'm going to do is we see that the last line has this end of names list. That's once it's completed loading, it prints out that. So what we're going to do is when that occurs, we're going to run some code in order to um, end, end the loop and get us into a spot where we can continue running other code and reading the messages and sending messages back And so basically what we're just doing here is we're going to print out the bot has joined, 
whatever channel it was. And then it's going to return false. or true. So if this is the line, if this is in the line, so like if we reach this point, then it's going to return false, and when loading equals false, then we're gonna exit this loop. But for all other conditions, we're gonna keep returning true, and it's gonna keep iterating through that. So now, I'm just going to call this function within this other function, so every single time it's going to be updating that value and checking if it has finished the loading process. So now I can run this. Whoops, something went wrong. I can fix. Bot has joined. Oh, I'm missing a plus sign. Try again. There we go. And so we get to this point, we see that it printed out all through the loading process, and then it got to the end of names list, and then it says bot has joined IT Connected's channel. And so if we go over to Twitch TV slash IT Connected, I don't think it shows as a viewer, but we are we are confirmed to connect to that. And in the next video, we're going to show how we can announce that the bot has successfully entered. So we can send a message that says bot has connected to the channel or something like that. But for now, that's going to be it for today's tutorial.